All right, let's get serious here for just one second, because there was a video that was going viral over the course of the last 24 hours Ugh. that I'm sure most got insight to that nobody else in the studio can quite understand how offensive it was, even though you could see it. You can see it for sure. But there are undertones in history mm-hmm. that, quite frankly, white members of the Burt Show what can't understand the visceral reaction from this particular video. Yeah, that's true. Uh, There's a lot of times where, as a black man, you may find yourself in a situation where there really is no winning. You don't know how to react. You're not exactly sure what to do. Because, unfortunately, if you are ever in a situation and you are you happen to be a black person and maybe this, this situation is with a white person or a white woman, then any reaction you kind of give is going to make you be the bad guy, which I've always been told in situations like these, you should always have a phone out. You should always record the situation. And this is a perfect example of why. So in this particular instance, there's a nurse who uh, I guess she was just getting off of work. And it, the video went immediately viral because it involved like the city bikes of which I guess you have to reserve the bike on your account and then you can actually use the bike to go wherever you're going. So you can reserve it before you actually get to the bike? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. That's, that's, I think that's what you have to do, in All fact, right. in order to unlock the bike. So it appears that this young man, uh, un- he reserved the bike. It was already on his account. For whatever reason, this woman came over and decided that she wanted that particular bike. Now, and it's important, I think, in this instance to... Yeah. Uh, describe the races that, that are going on here. Okay, so yes, he's black. He's a young black man, and he p- appears to be with a couple of his friends. And then she is getting off of work. She has her nurse outfit on. She is a white woman, and she has a badge on, which that part was telling to me because at some point when she sees that she's being recorded, she takes a badge off, which tells me you knew exactly what you were doing. And so she mm-hmm. wants this bike. She's kind of like tussling with him for the bike. She's sitting she's, on it. She's like, yes, this is my bike. I want this bike. And he's like, ma'am. I've already reserved this bike, but she's not taking no for an answer. And so, so much so that she begins to literally yell for help and make a scene over this bike that was already reserved on this young man's account. So if, if Which you ha- is so gross and it's so dangerous because you're literally putting these young black men's lives in danger by being a white woman screaming help. I mean, you're really... Using your, pri- you're abusing your privilege, abusing. right? I mean, and I know some people like get really uncomfortable at the word privilege when it comes to white. But in this particular case, that's exactly what it is. Exactly that. So if you haven't seen the video, here is the audio of what it sounded like when she was trying to take the bike from this young man. Help! Help me! Please help me! This is me. not your bike. <laughs> Please help me! This is not your bike. This is not your bike. Please help! Please, get off. Wait, what the f- Please, get off. Yo, don't take it, bro. Now you're not getting the bike, bro. Now you're not getting the bike. Help! Why you took his phone? What's wrong with you? You're not touching the phone. You're not touching the phone. I'm not touching you. You're not touching the phone. You're not touching the phone. You're not touching the phone. I'm not touching you. You're not touching the phone. I'm not touching you. You're not touching the phone. I'm not touching you. You're not touching the phone. You're not touching the phone. Oh, yeah, you, 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 you put it out? That's on, you put it out? That's on. Okay, now, you pulled it out. This is my bike. Now, just to give some context here, she starts fake crying, yeah. right? She sees a white dude behind her, uh-huh. and she starts fake crying, just to give it some context. It's so pathetic. And he walks over naturally and immediately takes her side and tells them, why don't y'all just let, like, back up off the bike and then let's figure this out. But then he shouldn't have to back up off the bike because he reserved the bike. He already had the bike. But the optics of it all, of, like, if the cops were to show up, exactly. if someone were to come and you're not recording this, you got three black men, you have her screaming for help, crying these fake tears, real, knowing that she's wrong. She clearly knew that she was in the wrong, but more times than not, as a black man in that situation, no cop is going to show up and be on your side and believe you. Did you not, when I watched that, immediately Emmett Till? That's exactly mm-hmm. where my mind goes every single time one of these situations happen. Like we, I think as a black person, that is always your first thought, is Emmett Till. Now, there are going to be a lot of people that don't know who that is, and this is important. Uh, Emmett Till was a young man who was murdered in a vicious, vicious way. Burned, boy. hung, a young boy. boy. He was a teenager, and it was all because a white woman lied and said that he winked at her, and he did not wink at her. He didn't do anything, but once she lied about it, they brutally murdered this young teenager, so much so that his mom 
at the funeral wanted to have an open casket because she wanted people to be able to see what these men did to her son. And then years later, actually recently, this woman uh, admitted before she passed away all these years later that it was indeed a lie. And obviously this mother had to live with this being the history of Emmett Till. So for black people, yes, it is uh, when you see a white woman crying in this sense and you know that she's wrong and it's and you're using these tears and you you could be in the right. But you realize as a black man, there's nothing you can do here. You mm-hmm. If you don't have this on record, if you're not like if you don't have witnesses, you're, you're going to be in some trouble anytime this happens. Now, the hospital made because she works right next to the hospital where this all happened and she works there. They made like a real generic statement like they were looking into it or something like like that. They, well, they do say, have to do a proper investigation. Sure, they do. Sure. But I was really curious, um, just from your perspective in watching it, was it more like, here we go again? Were you mad? Were you a, did it, I, I guess I'm just asking like, because there's so much history built up and this is your daily life. You're going to view that very differently than I am. Yeah, you, you, I was mad and, and it was kind of here we go again at the same time because I've been there. I've been in a situation where you, you might have had a seat that belongs to you and then uh, a, a, a white woman comes over and says, I want that seat. And in your mind, you know you're right and you know that you have the right to like want what you, but that fight, once that becomes a whole thing, you, you kind of just have to back out of it and let it go because you know what the results will be if this goes to another place. So when you see it, it does upset you, but if nothing else, I'm glad that, like, so many people are starting to record these incidents now so that, you know, everyone can kind of see it for what it really is, and then hopefully it'll bring some kind of change. The Burt Show. Like what you just watched? Well, you can get way more of The Burt Show on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts.